Okay, so um, if there is a gate, there is a gate tilde, like this, and um, this one, you also send it to the uh, right inlet, and you can send a toggle. Um, so let's hear this now, and I'm just going to make it, um, oh, you can attach a meter, so you can actually see. In um, MSB, when the audio is on, all the tilde objects are active. So even though you don't hear it, see it's working. But you don't hear it. Why? Because the gate tilde is closed. So as soon as you open the gate, there you go. See? So that's gate tilde. However, um, listen this carefully. I'm just going to um, up the volume. Hear the pop, pop. Um, unless you are specifically doing some kind of a glitchy music, um, this is not good for me. I don't want that glitch, and um, therefore I don't. I seldom use gate tilde, gate tilde for anything at all. So we might as well forget about it. And what we're going to learn here is called matrix tilde which I think it's my favorite object in Max, one of the favorite objects. Um, a little bit tricky thing is you have to tell um, how many inputs, how many outputs you want first. Otherwise, it will gray out like, whoops, it's missing. So um, it doesn't like it. So in this case, um, let's say I'm going to have different cycles. So let's see. Um, maybe even four of them and I want to hear different sounds I have no idea which sound is going to be yeah. I'm just randomly putting numbers in just for fun so I have one, two, three, four or maybe I'll have a um, SF play as well oops, that's funny SF play SF play um, just one here and one there and let's have a, a loop turned on so I don't have to worry about it um, then I'm just going to open it I don't know what I'm doing that things pop up in the wrong places okay so I have one two three four five stuff that I want to turn on okay so I have five inputs, five stuff. So five inputs, and I have two outputs, right, left and right. So two outputs, and then there's a third um, argument, which is the ramp time. Uh, do you want the ramp time on or off? If you don't put it, um, if you don't have the third argument, it's going to act. It. I think it's going to sound like a gate tilde. Um, so the whole point of using matrix still is avoid that click one of the whole points so I'm just gonna say like this I want no click in my music so I'm going to oh the matrix tilde the leftmost in that is not on and off as of now so everybody goes to his and her or it why did I say her him doesn't matter anyway so I'm going to turn on the uh, audio so everybody's active and if I turn this uh, SF play on um, okay play something uh, let's uh, I don't know um, something that's something hello let's see yeah uh, piano some kind of a piano player is playing okay so but you don't hear it because nothing is going through and besides it's not connected okay even if it's connected so this is the left channel and that's the right channel okay so um as i talk about it all the time this program was made by scientists mathematician so as my mathematician husband says learn to love the zero mari so this is zero 
one, two, three, four. It's not one, two, three, four. Zero, input number zero, input number one, two, three, four. In output zero and output one. I wish this is a little more consistent, but it's usually like this. Learn to have the zero. So um, here we go, and I don't still hear it. And what you want to do, I'm just going to get rid of this annoying gate, tilde, and everybody coming down slightly. Okay, so how do I hear this? How do I hear this? Um, I'm just going to turn this off for now. Since metric till is a little bit confusing to use, uh, they kindly made uh, now another object called matrix control. Um, you can just type it in. I had a hard time finding where it is in the menu. Um, I had a um, because I can't find it in here. It's not in here. It's not anywhere. I have no idea why they put it here, but it's here. I think my student found it. Um, okay, hello, hello. Can I just? Oh, it's so hard to pull down this menu. It's right here. <laughs> That's matrix control. Um, I wish they didn't do that, but anyway, so it is. Um, default looks like this, and the horizontal is the input, which are these, and vertical is the output. And I have this is like a eight inputs and four outputs by default, and you can change that by going to course inspector while well, it's, it's uh, highlighted and then you can see that um, they gave you eight so I only have how many five four cycles and one SF play right so five inputs and left and right two outputs then automatically does that so I connect directly that to matrix tilde and um, the whole point of the uh, um, matrix is that you don't click. So let's see if it's going to click. So in this case, so cycle to that is connected to the output number zero. So this is output number zero, uh, I'm sorry, input number zero. Input zero, input one, input two, input three, input four. Cycle 440, 550, 60, 70, and that is the SF play. Right? So, and this is the left and right. So if I turn this on by just clicking on this, see, and there is no click. See that? Uh, if you want to hear from the uh, right output, and I don't hear it, why? Oh, I hear it because I'm not wearing my headphone. Okay, here it is. Um, so. The great thing about this matrix is that you can um, change the ramp time by putting the attribute box, if you like. And the default uh, of ramp time is 10, which is nothing. But you could um, up it, like nice fade in. Right? There you go, like that. And now, similarly, this one is the input number one. so. Okay, so it's going to be a. Uh, that's funny. Um, what is that then? Okay, so it's a major third. It has to be the seventh, of course. And you can change your ramp time to even bigger uh, for a smooth fade in. Everybody on, it's getting too loud. Everybody gone. And then, is the sound file still playing? Like crazy? Yes. There you go. Right? Like that. Okay, so you can um, um, uh, do that. Um, by turning on and off. However, let's say if I want a uh, different setting, you don't have a chance to click everything like this. So let's say I want this to be my first setting. Um, you could use yet another object called preset. It's a very uh, um, old um, 
object, I think. Um, this one, you don't have to even specify how many um, inputs, outputs you want. You just can have two or three or just by dragging the size of it, which is kind of convenient. I wish this was like that, but I guess not. Okay, so you can do this. You can actually connect to the matrix to them. Uh, preset is a, um, a little tricky object, I think, because it remembers everything if it's not connected to something. But this way, it's only controlling this guy, matrix uh, control. So what you do is, I want this setting to be my setting number one, preset number one. What you do is, um, in the um, locked uh, mode, non-edit mode, you press down the shift and click it. And I really don't know why this is the default, but the color is so subtle and nice. Um, <laughs> I don't know, this is really hard to see. But anyway, so now the uh, uh, preset number one is slightly grayer than the other gray. Um, I guess this is supposed to be elegant, but it's kind of hard to see. So that's um, the first setup, set uh, preset is now stored. The second, let's see, I want um, it's too big now. Okay, oh, no, it's too small, too small. Okay, so this is my first setting. I want maybe this fifth to be the second setting. I just uh, shift clicked on it. Now I'm great. Now this is not safe yet. It is not saved. I have to save this. Uh, let's just put it in somewhere. Desktop. I'm just going to say temp. Everything is temp in my life. Temp. And then close. And then reopen. And then it's still here. Okay. Uh, so uh, I will cl click on this preset. Then magically, oh, loud, sorry, and then see. And for some reason, my ramp time didn't save. I have to either uh, load the mess into the ramp time, or you can actually write um, at attribute mark at time like this, at ramp, um, and it automatically syncs with a, a external attribute. But if you want to um, have a 2000 uh, fade in, fade out ramp um, to start with, either you do that or send in the load mess 2000 into the ramp. Otherwise, I don't think he remembers it. He just did not remember. Let's try this again. Okay, I'm just closing it. And temp 5. And now there it is. So, and I have to make sure it's not too loud here. See, one, two, and there's a moment of a triad because fade in, fade out is long, right? I can do this all day, no. Okay, so let's say um, I want only the sound file. Oh, I didn't load mess, so let's see, let's do the load mess. Load mess. I have a hard time clicking on this. Okay, I have to make it a little bigger. Um, I think this was the sound file. Oh, I have to do open, sorry. Open, like that. And then if I click on it, double click on it, uh, that was a different uh, uh, error message, so it should be there. Um, audio on. Yeah, it's playing. You don't hear it because um, I don't have matrix on. So this one is the third one. So let's say I am going to um, turn the third guy or the second guy. Let's see. Okay, so this is my third setting. So I will do this, uh, save the third one, and then the entire chord as a fourth setting, 
and I just want to hear the piano track and that would be my fifth one okay and then the six I'm just going to loop on uh, fifth I want nothing this will be the off so six is going to be the off okay so let's try that again open close and should be there okay so uh, the first setting is the second setting right and the fourth setting everybody and then There you go. And then everybody off. Fade out. You can do a nice. There you go. Anyway, so that's matrix. Matrix tilde. Um, and matrix control with a preset. You can send in your preset uh, remotely if you like, um, like this. So you don't have to click on things like that. So uh, let's turn the audio on. And am I going to be too loud? One, two, three, four. Everybody off. There you go. 